I just want locks. And I just want my locks to be pretty. You know, I just want locks. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want. Today's a little different. I'm in the car driving. Two months in. Oh my gosh. I have no idea how long it's going to take my hair to lock. I'm going to stay on this steady path. Even though I'm constantly looking at my head trying to find a lock in my head. That's the crazy part. I've seen people their hair has locked like um, within 15 months, 24 months. So it's going to keep going and see what it holds for me. But I can tell you things I'm learning with two strand twists that my twist I don't know about anybody else out there they are unraveling what happened was I was just looking at my head and I saw one I knew this one had unraveled this one this one is all the way loose keep in mind I retightened my locks after my first month and I interlocked them I call them but I still have them coming the loose like, I have one right here it was interlocked at the root it had grew out and I interlocked the new growth and it was twisted on the end but this one came unraveled all the way say all the way you don't rubble all the way i just retwisted it didn't uh, interlock it at all yes, how did it come all the way loose i gotta retighten that one but i may interlock this one from the bottom all the way up just to try it to see what it does going through my head i found out that that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't the only one I had another one loose over on in this section like a whole twist it's just loose over here my hair is I really can't tell when it's loose or not just looking at my hair if I feel through my hair and I start looking through my hair like in the mirror that's when I can tell it has unraveled I still enjoy my twist I still don't regret the fact that I started off with twists instead of braids or you know going to get them interlocked I like my twist one main reason why I started off with twists too I know my hair and I didn't want to go through that full that little thin phase that phase that everybody the awkward phase of dreads i don't want to go through that phase and i know how my hair is with two string twists i know it'll puff up it'll still look thick this is really a main reason why i did two string twists instead of anything else it looks full one kind of um starting off with two strand twists they will unravel it depends on your hair type but if you always have your twist two strand twists coming loose anyway you know it could be a con some cons just like no that if it's that i'm not doing it but this one i, I had like i had this one and one over here that came loose i'm like what in the world but um that's it i don't have any other cons about my hair i really don't product wise i am not using any type of product to be honest with y'all i'm kind of scared to use products and i'm frightened when i was online i saw a video of this lady that had long dreads and she was she used product she's been using products since she had her dreads so um, her dreads were covered in product all the way down to the bottom of, like this dark gooky wax tar like crap all of her dreads all the way down like they look really bad and the she mentioned that they had got so heavy from the product being on her dress that her hair was thinning out because her hair her dress were heavy from product they had to come up with some kind of solution to mix up to get um the product out of her hair when they got the product out of her hair her hair was like it was like a golden color it was nothing like the color when she walked in there but she had lost all of her egg all of this was gone because of the heaviness of the of the dreads from the product so that really scared me right now the only product i use on my hair is water water and oil um, i did use the oil and ginger mixture for my hair that i made um you can check out the video for that it's supposed to help with hair growth and um thickening of the hair and moisture moisturizing the scalp you know using that just to see i'm just testing it just to see if it actually works oil i don't buy products because to me, and even when I was a loose natural, like buying products for me was like a, okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. I'm, I'm just not. It's, it's a new product coming out every day for hair, for loose naturals. And to me, you have to find something that works for you, whether it be, whether it be a product off the shelf or um, something you can concoct from your kitchen at home, find something that works for you. The first time I became natural years ago, nobody was natural, so it was hard for me to even find products. But now they're everywhere, and I I did go to, through the thing once, just look, getting different products, trying to find what worked for my hair. But um, you know, going going along with the hype. But 
find what works for you whether it is oil oil whether it is the oil or uh shea butter or whatever find what works for you because just because it's a product on the shelf it might not work for you so that's the thing with that but with me right now i'm sticking to water and oil i do want to try rose water though um i do want to try rose water so i'm definitely gonna try the rose water situation because i've heard good things about rose water so i will try it um to make my hair lock faster i'm not trying anything i'm just gonna wait on it because to be honest i don't think there's anything out there that can really make you lock faster you just gotta you know wait you just gotta have patience and i am that one to have patience even though i ain't gonna lie i really don't have patience i ain't gonna lie to you for this hairstyle you gotta have patience so really i have no choice but to have patience so you, you guys know how they go but i don't think there's anything out there that can make you walk faster but i did see someone say try like a clarifying shampoo and it'll make you lock faster really don't want to dry my hair out that's the reason why i'm not locking i don't know I was thinking about co-washing my hair because i haven't washed my hair yet it's been two months this is my two month update i have not washed my hair yet even when i was loose natural i didn't wash my hair often if i did wash my hair it would be a co-wash but i'm learning kind of the opposite of this is of loose natural with the locks um, if you do a co-wash it might it might cause my hair to take a longer time to lock because of the moisture i'm learning different things i may try the apple cider vinegar rinse i really don't want to use like a shampoo shampoo on it i don't know i gotta do more research on it um but if any of you guys know uh what to do with washing or what shampoo to use please don't hesitate in the comments to let me know because i'm really i really don't know i'm really searching this thing out when i wash my hair i don't want to use you know, I, I think I'm still stuck in that loose natural thing, whereas don't use the shampoo with sulfates and all that kind of stuff. It's better to cold wash. Because with loose natural, you it's all about keeping moisture. But with locks, it's all about trying to lock, I guess you could say. Um, I gotta get into that, you know, mindset. But um, my hair is actually, it's pretty long, actually. It's longer than what you think. It's just curled all up here, but hey see that I don't want my hair to break I don't want any of that to happen I just want locks that's it I have no idea how my hair is gonna turn out when it gets longer that's the thing I'm waiting on I'm waiting on my hair um, to lock so when it gets longer I want to see that the outcome the thing that's really keeping me grounded with staying true is the outcome when they grow out I just want to see what they're gonna look like um, but I'm, I'm loving the process, you know. If you guys have any questions or anything in the comments, please let me know. Or if you have any ways that you do your locks that you can tell me and I can try, you know. Um, but right now, basically, I am just wetting them with water. Possibly putting oil on them when I, when I can and going. That's about it. We'll try the rose water. I definitely want to try the rose water. Um it's organic it'll be organic and natural so of course i'll try it but i'm trying to stay true to the natural situation because um like i want to stay true to it so we'll see um my hair like in the back the back they seem like they're starting to just crunk up and lock i don't know i don't know if it's locking but it's matting and i got some matting back there so i don't know if there's a difference between matting and locking or is it the same thing who knows Don't change for me